I wanted to ask you first of all about the music, about um, the songs that Monarch Fred does. Um, what about Don't Want to Hear It? I wanted to know about It Follows, like why you wrote it and what was the motivation behind it. What about, um, you said there were three ideas. Would you say that the dancing um, is kind of the ideal of what you want your, the scene to be? It's supportive and everything else instead of the backstabbing like it's in uh, No Reason and It Follows and Don't Want to Hear It. And what is their goal? What are they trying to accomplish? Why do you scream? And why is it so fast? And why can't you understand the lyrics? The way you dress, and the way the hardcore, well, not hardcore. Could you explain to why the people that are in the, uh, the scene, whatever, dress like you? <laughs> and dress like the people in the bands. Why is that? A lot of them seem to dress the same way. Um, can you talk a little bit about uh, the politics or what, some of the contradictions in, in the scene? Like sometimes, you know, it's, people say it's apolitical and then on the other hand you have some political ideas and why do you think hardcore happened? Can you talk about straight edge? Talk about discord. How are you doing what you're doing? What, how do you feel about that? And what do you think will happen now? That's one, that's one difference. Say when people go to the Wax Museum. There's some general idea that made this thing happen. I mean, I know everybody's individuals and they all think differently, but... What is going to happen to these kids um, when they have to go and earn money to support themselves? I mean, but then how do you justify um, heading up this record company? Say if you had a friend who, you know, was killed in Central America. Don't they have a misconception of being afraid of, of um, people involved in the hardcore music scene? Anything else that you can think of? It's kind of like the hippies maybe look at me for who I am, not what I look like. Talking before about the hippies, do you think you're the, the hippies of the 80s then? Some of your ideas are that, you know, non-exploitive stuff like that. And the fact that you are getting bigger, I mean, are you an angry person or? So do you think you're going to go further underground? How will you know when you've reached the point of insecurity? I'll know. I'll know. A lot of